Okay, thanks for your reply. So we are going to start our teaching today. Okay, uh, we have four topics. We have four topics today. Okay, we are going to talk about the first topic is I'll teach you how to enter the smarter classroom, how to log in, how to start to use high teach is the first thing. And the second topic, I'll unboxing some commonly used technology tools like pick out, like timer, scoreboard, or how to use your material in high teach. Okay, this is my topic two. And the third topic, I'll, I'll do a demo to tell you how to do a interactive lesson in your classroom, how to uh, do an IRS quiz or how to do an assess assessment in your classroom. This is a uh, topic three, okay? And the last topic uh, depends on time. Okay, if we have time, I'll talk about our cloud platform. I'll talk about our uh, cloud platform, okay? So this is my fourth topic today. So let's start our topic number one, okay? Okay, let's start our topic number one, entering the smarter classroom. So before we start to use high teach, I have to introduce our system structure for you. You have to know what is high teach and what is high TA you install in your cell phone. What is that? I have to tell you, okay? So at first, I need you to look at this picture. Okay, in this picture, you can see all products of our system, all products of our system. First, okay, first is high teach. High teach is a oh, high teach is a computer software for teachers. Okay, high teach is, is a software for teachers to download, install in your computer, and you can teach by high teach. Okay, this is first thing you have to know. And the second thing, high TA5 application, you have just uh installed in your cell phone, right? The high TA5 application also for teacher to use to download, to install in your cell phone. And the high TA5 is a, um, is a tool to help you to teach in high teach, okay? Because high TA, TA means teaching assessment, okay? TA means teaching assessment. So high TA is a helper to help you teach in high teach. Okay, we'll demo that later, okay? And the third thing, IRS system. This is for student. Okay, high teach and high TA both for teachers, but IRS system is for student. Student can use their tablet, use their own cell phone, or use their uh, computer, or use the remote control. Okay, to use our IRS system to react the teacher's question to react with his or her teacher. Okay, so. Teacher use high teach and teacher use high TA and then student use IR assistant. These three products to create our smarter classroom, okay, to create our uh, smarter classroom. And how about those things here? Okay, number four, IES cloud platform and number five, A class one cloud platform and number six, Socrates fan phone. They are all named fan phone, right? So that means all of this IES, A class one, or Socrates, they are using online. Okay, they are websites. IES is an online platform for teachers. You can prepare your lesson or you can uh uh you can do an exam online. You can use IES to do lots of things. And also students can use A class one fan phone to preview or to review his or her lesson or to do his or her homework on A class one. Okay, and what is Socrates plan for? We'll talk, it, talk about it later. Okay, we'll talk about it later. So now you have to know the most important part is the left side, the left side, okay? The point of today is high teach, high TA and the IRS, how to interact in the smarter classroom. This is our point today. Okay, so we are going to start. Okay, so now we are going to use high teach. 
directly, okay? If you have already downloaded install high teach in your computer, now you can follow me step by step. Okay, I'll teach you how to use high teach step by step. Okay. First, when you already download install high teach in your computer, you can find this icon on your desktop. Okay, you can find this high icon on your desktop. Okay. So when you find this high icon, double click and then this black window will jump out. You'll see this black window. In this black window, you have to log in your account. Because when you want to use HiTeach, the first thing is to tell HiTeach, tell our system who is using HiTeach now. Okay, this teacher or that teacher, you have to log in to let HiTeach know, oh, now it's Sir Zach or now it's Sir Johnny using HiTeach. So how to log in? You have two ways. You have two ways. You can use your high TA. You can do a high TA apps. Okay, you can use your high TA to scan this QR code. Not this one, okay? This one is just for example. On your computer or on your screen, you may, you, may, you may see this black window. So you can use your high TA application to scan this QR code to log in your high teach. Or you can use here, the letter G means Google, okay? You can use the letter G means Google here to log in. Okay, so you can use high TA or you can use the letter G to log in your accounts and go into the high teach page like this. Okay, this is the high teach page. Okay, so I will stay here. I will wait here. Please, if you have already get into the high teach page, okay, if you have already get in the high teach page, Please answer one or okay, type in number one. Type, 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 type in one in the chat box. Let me know, okay? Because this is the first, first step. If you cannot even get into high teach, you cannot uh, follow the next step. So I have to make sure that everyone can get into high teach. Because I know uh, we have some old new teachers, okay, today. So I will be slow. And if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay, I see many num number, okay, many ones. Thank you. Okay, then I'm, I'm keep going, okay? So now we have already get into high teach. The first thing when we get into high teach, I wanna teach you how to create your student list. You have, you have to create a student list to start your lesson, right? So now I'm going to teach you how to create your student list, okay? You can follow me. First, you'll see a button high here on the top of this toolbar, okay? You can see this high button, press it, and then find local roster setting. High and local roster setting here, okay? Push the local roster setting. And you'll see this, this blue window. Okay, you'll see this blue one. And here, okay, here, you can see a plus, a plus here. Okay, so I push that plus and I can create a new list. First, I have to give that list a name. Okay, uh, I can name my list, for example, maybe uh, grade, grade four, sorry, grade four, class two, English. Okay, for example, I named my student and list grade four, class two, English. Then I press next step. Okay, I press next step. And then I can type my student's name here. Like uh, maybe I have five students, Andy, Zach, John, Tony, and who? Jake, okay? Okay, I can type my student's name here. 
Okay, I have five students in this in this list: Andy, Jack, John, Tony, and Jack. Okay, if I have already finished, push preview, push the preview button here. Okay, preview, and then our system will uh, show the preview on the on the right window. You can see their name with their seat number. The state number will uh, generate automatically according to the order of students' name. Okay, so Andy is number one, Jack is number two, John is number three, just like this. But you may have a question. If I, uh, for example, if there's no number three in my classroom, okay, maybe uh, number student number three has already transferred to other school. There's no number three. So what can I do? Okay, so in this situation, if Andy is number one, Zach is number two, but John is not number three. Okay, John is number four, and Tony is five, and Jack is six. Okay, number three is an empty number. You can do one thing. You can, for example, John, right? You can add a dot. Add a dot. Add a dot, and type the correct number like this okay you can add a dot after his or her name and type the correct number for example mr john is number four okay a dot sorry a dot and number four okay preview again and you can see here john become number four and Tony become number five, okay, automatic. Okay, and Jack become number six. So this is how to change the student's number. Okay, and also you can, uh, if you have a student list on, for example, uh, Excel file, you can copy that Excel file and paste it here. Okay, you don't need to type every name. You can copy paste here. Okay, so when I finish my name list. Okay, I, I have the correct name and correct state, state number. I press go. And this name list has already finished. Okay, this name list has already finished, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to give you uh, three minutes. Okay, three minutes. You can try to create a name list for yourself. Okay, you can try to create a name list for yourself. Okay, and if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay, so you can try to create a new student name list. Okay. If you have any question, you can just uh, reply in that chat box. Okay, you can, you can type in the chat box. I can see that.
Okay. Did anyone need some more time? You can tell me, don't be shy. Did anyone need some more time or I can keep going? Any question or you, if you need more time, you can tell me. No? Okay, I'll use this mode uh, uh, in the following two hours. I'll teach something and I'll give you some time to practice. And then I'll teach another things and I will give you some time to practice. Okay, this, is, this will be my mode this afternoon. Okay, so let's keep going. Now we already have uh, student and list, right? So how to use this student li list to start a lesson? You don't need to create student and list every time, right? You only need to create your student and list at the beginning of this semester, okay? At the beginning of the semester, you have to create a new student and list. For example, you have 10, uh, 10, 10 class, so you have to create 10 and list. And the next time, another semester, you'll create a new one, right? So uh, create student and then list is not the thing that you have to do every time you're using high teach, okay? But every time you're using high teach, you have to do this thing. Whenever you get into high teach and you want to start a lesson, you have to push this button here on the top of high teach interface. There is a blue button called star lesson. You can see that, okay? Just press the star lesson. Okay, star lesson and the system wants you to tell, to, uh, to, to choose which lesson do you want to start? Yeah. Which lesson do you want to start? Because maybe you have already created 30 or 40 name list. Okay, so you have to tell the system which name list, which lesson I want to start. And the lesson, the name list you have already created will find here in the local, local name list. Okay, you can find your name list here, the local name list. We won't talk about what is school name list, personal name list, or dynamic list. We won't talk about it today, okay? We just learned how to use local, local name list here. So as you can see, my name list, grade four class two English has already show here, okay? And I can do one more thing here, a group, a group icon. I can press this group icon to grouping my, uh, my student name list, okay? For example, I have five students in this name list and I want to uh, split my student into two groups. So I can push here. Can you see a plus, a plus, right? Here's a plus. So I can push this plus to add a new group called group one. You can also change that name, okay? Group one, confirm. And also I can group, uh, create group two, confirm, okay? So now I have two groups. Now I have two groups. And I want to uh, move number five, Tony, and number six, Jake, into group two. How to do that? You can see when I push Tony, when I push Jack, there will be a uh, blue circle here and you can hold their name and put them into, sorry, put le, hold their name and put them into group two like this. Okay, now you can see group two, number five and number six and group one, number one, two and four. Okay, I'll do it again. If I want to move, John, I just click, okay, blue circle, and hold John, put him into group two, like this, okay, and I finish my grouping, okay. When I finished, I just press the X icon, okay, and the system will ask me that the group data has been changed. Do you want to save it? Yeah, of course, confirm, okay, confirm, and then I can press the start on the right uh, right corner here start start okay when i press start as you can see the star lesson become end lesson okay because the, the lesson is 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 already start okay so you can see the star lesson become end lesson 
Okay, so you can try to use your name list you have already created to start a lesson. Okay, press start lesson and choose which name list you want to use. Or you can choose to group or not and then push the start icon. And here you can see the start lesson become end lesson. Now your lesson has already started. Okay, you can try this. You can try this function. Also, you, you, you have to uh, remember these steps, okay? Because this step is what you have to do whenever, every time you go into your classroom, you want to use high teach. You have to do this. First, click start lesson and choose a course, to choose a, a student learn list and choose to grouping or not and click start, okay? You have to do this every time. But if, if you have already grouping your uh, student and list, then the grouping will be saved. Next time you use that student and list, the grouping will, will, will uh, generate automatically. Okay, you don't need to set the grouping every time. You don't need to do that. Oh, un unless you want to change their group. Okay, unless you want to change their group. Okay, any question? I think it's not so hard, okay? Okay, if there's no questions, I want to say congratulations because we have already finished our uh, lesson, uh, topic one. Okay, we, now we know how to log in Star High Teach and we know how to create a student and list and how to start a lesson. Okay, we have already finished our topic number one. So now we are going to our topic number two. Unboxing commonly used technology tools. Okay. Okay, good. So you can see this picture. Okay. I'll give you 30 seconds. You can screenshot or you can take a picture of this picture. This picture is the uh oh is uh every function you can see on high teach interface. Okay, every function you can see on high teach interface. I won't teach about all of this today. We have no enough time. Okay, I, I'll just choose some commonly used tools today, but you can spend some time. Okay, you can try every function by yourself. Maybe you'll find some functions that I didn't talk about today, but you think that is useful. Okay, so you can take a picture or you can screenshot this page. <laughs> any teachers has any question? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just make sure. If you have any question, you can just type in that chat box in the Zoom chat box. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll change the page. Okay, I'll go to the next page, okay? So now I'm going to teach you one thing very important. How to use your materials in high teach. Okay, how to use your materials in high teach. I'll tell you three different ways. And you don't you don't need to add, use every way. You can choose the one that you think the most useful to learn. Okay, I'll teach you three different ways. Okay, how to use your high teach material, uh, how to use your materials in high teach. Okay, the first way is this one, screenshot and annotation. Okay, screenshot and annotation. This way is 
for all electric materials. Okay, materials that on in your computer. All e uh, e materials, electric electric materials. Okay, you can use uh this way. So how to do this? First, you can find this icon. This icon. Where is it? It's here. Okay, here. You can find this icon on the bottom of the toolbar. Okay, you can find an icon, an arrow here. This icon is minimized. Okay, this icon is minimized. When I push this icon minimize, I will minimize my high teach. Uh, okay, like this. Now I go back to my desktop. And where is my high teach? Here. Here. On the uh, right corner here. Okay, here. Okay. I've already minimized my high teach. And how can I go back to high teach? Just push the high. Okay, just push the high icon. Now I come back. So I can use that function, let, let, uh, let 2 to minimize high teach and come back with the high icon. Okay, so now let me minimize my high teach. I go back to my uh, uh, computer's desktop or or some documents or some website I want to use to teach. For example, here, I have a, a Word doc document. Okay, this is my material. This is my material. So now I want to use this material in high teach. What can I do? How to use this material in high teach? I need to push the icon here, the pencil. Okay, here, the pen, the pen icon here, above the high. Okay, the pen icon here. This pen icon means screenshot your current page, no matter you are in a uh, document, website, or your desktop, okay? Screenshot your current page and import that page into high teach as one page. Okay, I'll show you. Now I press this pen, okay? When I press this pen, you can see the toolbar of high teach just show up. That means this page has already uh, been screenshot and import into high teach as one page. Okay, so now I can use my high teach tools. For example, I can write, okay, or I can draw. I can use the, for example, timer, or I can use the the uh, scoreboard, anything I can use because now I'm in the high teach system. Okay, this page has already been screenshot and import into my system. And how can I go back to the work document? Likewise, just press the minimize icon. Okay, minimize. And I go back to my page, my document, my material. Okay, so that means. No matter what kind of materials you are using, no matter what kind of materials you are using, you can use documents, you can use uh, a website, you can use other software. Whenever you want to use high teach, just press the pen icon, and then the system will screenshot your current page and import it into high teach, and you can right you can draw you can do anything in high teach then when you finished just minimize it again go back to your page and keep using your material okay so this is the fir first way you can use materials screenshot and annotation okay screenshot and annotation minimize first then use this high to go back to high teach. And use this pen to do screenshot. Okay, this is the first way you can use your materials. And the second way here, 
Okay, the second way here is to import PowerPoint with objects and animations. Import PowerPoint for only PowerPoint. Okay, if you like to use PowerPoint as your material, you can use this function. Of course, you can also use this function. Okay, you can also use your PowerPoint, just, just using your PowerPoint, PowerPoint, and whenever you want to use high text, screenshot that PowerPoint page. That is okay. But if you are using PowerPoint, you have two choices. Okay, you can also use this way, import your PowerPoint. How to do that? Okay, how to do that? Here. Sorry. Here, this icon is here. Okay, a file, a file icon. You can find it here. Push it, and then you can find local files. Okay, you can find local files here. Local files. Get into local files. Then you can find your PowerPoint here. Maybe in your, your 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 device or on the desktop. Okay, you just find the PowerPoint you want to use today, you want to teach today, and then open it and import it. Okay, import it. Then the entire PowerPoint will be imported into high teach with objects and animations or hyperlink. Okay, with that. So this is the second way. If you are using PowerPoint, you can import it, the entire PowerPoint into HiTeach. Okay, this is the second way. And just as, just as I say, if you are using PowerPoint, you have two choices. You can use this function or this function, okay? And the third way here, the third way is for paper materials. If I have a material like a test paper or, or, or my test book, okay, I want to show you that paper, I want to show you that book, but not in my computer. How to do that? When you want to upload your paper materials, you'll need the high TA application in your cell phone. Okay, you, you'll, you'll need the high TA application. Okay, so how to use the high TA to upload paper materials here? Okay, here, here, okay. When you're using high TA, we know that high TA can scan QR code, right? We have already tried to use high TA to scan QR code to join my class today. So you can use the scan QR code function in high TA. And where is the QR code? Which QR code we want to scan here? You can see on the top of high teach, there will be a QR code icon and push it, it will become bigger. Okay, you don't need to scan this QR code. Okay, you don't need to scan this QR code now. You can try to scan the QR code on your computer, on your high teach. Do not scan this one. Okay, this one is for me. Okay, you can try it on your own computer. So now I use my high TA. I open my high TA in my cell phone and I use my high TA to scan this QR code. And I choose to control my high teach. And my high TA will become like this. My high TA will become a remote. Okay, like this. So now I can use my cell phone to, for example, change page. Okay, now I'm controlling my high teach using my cell phone. I can use high TA to change page, or I can use high TA to start a timer. Okay, something like that. I can use all of these functions. I can use all of these functions. Okay, uh, timer, scoreboard, pick out, minimize, something like that. Okay, I can control my high teach by my cell phone. But the most important one is this one, photos, photos, okay? I believe everyone, your cell phone has a camera, right? Your cell phone has a camera. So you can use your cell phone to take a picture 
of your materials of your textbook or your test paper okay or your students work something like that okay i take a picture now I take a picture now and then i use high ta the photo function here i use the photo function of high ta i choose to upload the picture i just take okay i upload the picture i just take like this okay like this i can upload up to nine pictures one time okay i can uh, upload up to one uh, nine pictures one time okay and then send okay i press send and the picture i just took took will show here okay this is a picture i just took okay so you can take a picture of your textbook your 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 document or anything and then upload it by high ta okay so there are three different functions three different ways you can use your materials okay i don't know which one is is the most useful for you but you can choose that one and try it okay i'll give you same three minutes i'll give you three minutes just try try to upload or try to import or try to screenshot your material okay and if you have any question just ask me Okay, I want to ask again, do you have any question? Or I ask like this, if you don't have any question till now, everything's good, you can follow, you understand, everything's, uh, you, you, can, you can follow. Please uh, type number two, okay? Number two in the chat box, okay? If every, everything's good, I can keep going, please. 
type number two in the chat box. Let me let me check. <laughs> Okay, I see. I see. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your reply. Okay, so we have already finished our topic two, topic number two. Okay, congratulations, we have already finished our topic number one and topic number two. And now we are going to our topic number three, synchronized classroom interactive tools. Okay, so before we start topic number three, I have to make sure again, do you have already joined my IES class? That is very important because if you didn't join the class, you cannot interact with me later. Okay, you cannot interact with me later because you can you you will not find your name in my student list. So have you already joined my IES class? Here. So I have to make sure that, okay, if you don't interact with me later, you won't get the high teach license. So that is really important. If you didn't add, uh, interact with me later, you won't get your high teach license. So please make sure you have already joined my IES class. Okay, I'll show this uh, QR code for 30 seconds. If you have, if you're very sure that you have already joined, you don't need to worry, just take a rest. Okay. And if you didn't join or you're not really sure, just use your high TA and scan it again. Okay, if you have already joined, the system will tell you you don't need to join twice. Okay, you can try it. Okay, so I'm keep going. Okay, I'll keep going. So now let me just end the class. Okay, and I'll do it again to show you. Okay, you can take it as a review. First, I press start lesson, and I'll find this lesson. Today's lesson is, uh, sorry, I have so many lessons. Here, uh, yeah, this one. Team Model Basic Workshop 2023. And today's, and today, okay, March 24. So I can group here, right? Group. This is my name list. Okay, you should see your name here. And I can group. I can group for maybe five group. I can move you into different group. Okay, but I don't. I I I don't need the group. Uh, I don't need the group function today, so I won't do that. And then I press start. I press start here. Okay. Okay. And now you can see end lesson. My lesson has already started. Okay. So in the following fifteen minutes, I want to ask you to become my student. I'll show you how to interact with students in the following 15 minutes. So please become my student. And then I'll give you another time. Uh, I'll give you more time to pre practice what I told you now, okay? But please focus on being my student in the following 15 minutes, because you have to know what will students see when you are teaching. When you, you are a teacher, what will your students see? So you, you can now become a student. So I want to ask you as a student to connect with my high teach. Okay, you are my student, so I want to come, I want you to connect with me. You can use your computer 
or tap lens or sales number. Everything is okay. Any question? Sounds like no. Okay, I want to ask you to join my class. You can use your tablet, your cell phone, or your computer. If you're using your computer, you can type in type list URL in the browser, irs5.cc, irs5.cc, okay? You can open a browser in your computer, or also you can open the browser in your cell phone, in your tablet, and then type in irs5.cc, this URL in the browser, okay? I'll show you. Now I open the browser and type in irs5. Wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> 用这样吗? 有在里面,好,有,好,没关系,没关系, okay, sorry, okay, irs5.cc, okay, and then you'll see this picture, you'll see this, this picture. The system will ask you to type the classroom number and pin number. Classroom number and pin number. What is our classroom number and pin number here? Okay, the classroom number and the pin number will show on the top of PyPitch. The real one is here. Here, okay. My classroom number is 175107. 175107. And the pin number is 8749. 8749. So I type in the classroom number and pin number and join lesson. Okay, and you can find your name. You should find your name here, okay? If you cannot find your name, that means you didn't join my classroom yet. Okay, for example, I'll use the Sir Johnny's number here, number uh, 30, 37, Johnny. Okay, and then I press OK. Then you'll see this picture. Class is in process, please stay focused. And you just need to stay here, okay? You can wait here. So I'll ask you, everyone, please type irs5.cc in your browse, browser. You can use computer, you can use tablet, you can use cell phone. And then type in the classroom number 175107. The pin code eight seven four nine, and then find your name and join. Okay, please. Okay, so as a teacher, I want to know how many students have already joined, right? I want to know how, how many students have already joined. So what, where can I see the name list? Here. Okay, I can see the name list here by this icon. Here, this icon. I press this icon and I can see, oh, the attendance here. Now, 26 students have already joined. Okay, and those, those students who has already joined will become green. And the red one is absent. Okay, and also students can use this QR code to join my class. Okay, so if you have not uh, joined yet, you can use your cell phone, use your tablet to scan this QR code. And you can also jump to this page, okay, by, by the QR code. 
you can use this QR code or you can use the irs5.cc URL to join my class. Okay, so I'll give you uh, 30 more seconds. You can join this class. Okay, anyone need more time? Okay, and as you can see, those grade one, they are absent, but those students might be not, um, they, they might have, uh, for example, for, they, they have sick. So you can change their status by click. Okay, you can, for example, I can click on this student for uh, sick leave and this student for his uh, personal leave, something like that. I can change their status by click their, their, their name. Okay. Okay, great. So now we are going to do some interactive uh, questions. Okay. I'll show you four different ways to do uh, synchronized teaching in high teach there are four different functions the first one is we call push or allocation that means teachers can give students pages pages or documents or some files okay i can give my students something that is what we call okay that is what we call push and the second way is interaction or active that means i can do an iris quiz or i can do a uh, uh Buzz in something like that, a student can answer me. The third way is assignment or test. That means I want to ask my student to finish some work, finish some test, and submit it. Okay. And the fourth way is assessment or test. For example, I want to push this page to you. I want to push this page to you. So you can see here. Okay, here's the picture. In the following pages, you can see this picture in every page. Okay, you can see following picture. Uh, follow. You can see this picture in following pages. Okay, I'll tell you what will I do in that page. So in this page, I want to push this page for you. Push that page for you. Okay, how to do that? This is push icon. Where is it? It's here. Okay, it's a push icon. So I press the push icon. And then I want to push this page here. I want to push this page. I press and you can see this page in your IRS, right? You can see this page because I have I've already pushed it to you. Okay. Then we're going to the next page. Okay. In this page, Here is the conversation. So first, I want to give you one minute. I want to give you one minute, okay? I use timer, the timer is here. Timer, timer is here. Okay, I teach timer here. Okay, I want to use timer. One minute, can you please read that conversation first? Okay, I'll give one minute to read that conversation.
Okay, so when you finish, I, I, I suggest you, you have already read this conversation. And now I want to start a IRS single answer question. Okay, the IRS icon here. Here. Okay, this is IRS icon. When you push the IRS icon, you can see many different functions here. Okay, there are many different functions here. But I want to use the single answer question. Okay, single answer question here. Okay, so I press and then I start a single answer question. And in your high, uh, in your web IRS system, you can see this page, and these are your options. Okay, these are your options. So my question is linked to some photos at Tom's party, which is most likely one of them. Okay, there are four different pictures. Which do you think is most likely one picture of uh, Tom's party? So you can choose number one. One means A, okay, two means B. You can choose number one, number two, A, B, C, D. Just choose one, okay? When you have already choosed, Uh, your number will become red here. So teacher can know how many students has already chosen and how many not. Okay, you can see your number. If you have already choose, your number will become red. And sometimes teachers ask me, can, I ch can students change their answer? Okay, yes, they can change. Before I show chart or I do anything else, they can change. They can change many times. Okay. Did anyone want to answer? Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Now I want to do this statistic chart. Okay, statistic chart. There are two kinds of chart the pie chart or the, or the bar, bar chart, the bar chart or the pie chart. So here, bar chart, pie chart here, okay. So I'll see the bar chart here, okay. Most students choose option number two, option B, okay, option B here. And then I want to do one thing. I want to ask you why. Why do you choose option B? Okay, what keyword have you uh, read? So you know the answer is option B. So I want to do one thing that called smart pick out here. Okay, how to start a smart pick out? In, in the bar chart or in, the, in pie chart, you can click every bar. Okay, you can click every bar, every bar. and there are three functions. There are three functions in every bar, okay, three functions. The first function, the left one, okay, the left side one, this function is smart pick out, which means I can choose someone to answer my question. Okay, I can choose someone who answered number two to tell me why. I can choose someone who answered number two, or, or I can choose someone who answered number one, I can choose someone who answered number three, okay? I want to choose someone who's answer is number two is B. And you can tell me, why do you choose uh, option number two, okay? Uh, uh, teacher number two, Mr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can, you, can you tell me the keyword of that conversation so you, need, you know the answer is option B? Yes, sir. It is pot. The hot pot. Okay, pot. Here. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. Okay. Cook. Thank you, sir. In this conversation, here's that cook in the same boiling pot. Okay. So we know that the correct answer is B. Okay. Thank you. So teachers can set correct answer by this A icon here. A. Okay, this is it. 
A means answer. The correct answer is two, is B. Okay, right. So, okay. And then I can show the pie chart. I can see the correct rate. Okay, the correct rate is uh, almost 30%. I can see it like, like this. Okay, so this is how to do a, a single answer question. And also, I'll give you another scenario. You can screenshot your material and start an IRS question. I just tell you that you can import your PowerPoint or you can just screenshot your material, right? So now I want to try if I just want to screenshot my material. First, minimize my heritage. Okay. And I can find my material here as a Word document. Okay. As a Word document. So the same conversation, the same conversation. But I want to ask you the question number two here. What do you think is the point of this article? What do you think is the point of this article? So I screenshot. Okay, screenshot. I have already screenshot import this picture and then I can start uh, here. I ask Chris and I want to do a close question, close question. Okay, the T1 here, close question here. Okay, and student can see a text box in your height, uh, in your IRS, right? You can see a text box here and you can type in your answer. Okay, my question is, what do you think is the point of this article? Okay, you can, you can give me your answer. For example, I say, uh, everyone, everyone likes different food. Okay, send. Let's finish. Okay, so could you please send me your answer? You don't need to type so much, okay? Just try it, just try this function. Just like the single answer question, you can also change your answer whenever you want before teacher uh, show the chart or do anything else. Be before we, I do anything, you can change your answer. Okay, I use the timer. I'll give you 20 more minutes. Oh, sorry, 20 more seconds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to use this, this icon we call flip to show everyone's answer. Okay, this icon we call flip. Okay, I can see all the answers here. Everyone's answer will show. But there are so many answers. Okay, there are so many answers. I want I want to know what is the the, the, the key point everyone say. So I can use another function here. This function. This function. Okay. Called AI text analyze. Okay. AI text analyze. When I use this AI text analyze function, the system will show me first the word cloud. Okay. I'll see the word cloud. Okay. Give. Okay. So many. People mention food or different. Okay, many, many people, including me, okay, mention different and everyone or something like that. Okay, 
this is word cloud. And the frequency of every keyword you can see here. Okay, so eight, eight students mentioned food and six students mentioned different, right? You can see it here. And the classify, classify, okay? The system will uh, group every answer automatically by some keywords, like everyone who says about different, oh, so many, so, so many, so many students answer the same answer. Everyone likes different foods. Okay, so this is a group and this is another group. Okay, so using this function, you can ask the system to help you to know the, uh, the, the, the word that students mentioned mentions okay so this is how we use the ai analyze function okay okay so we we have already done a single answer question and a close question and now we are going to try and multiple answers question a multiple answers question okay so this is my question which of the following are Marvel heroes? Okay, there are six different heroes and which of the following are Marvel heroes? So you can use the IRS and multiple answer function here. IRS, multiple answer questions here. Okay, so now you can choose your answer and then send. And then send. Okay, for example, I think all number one, two, three, they are Marvel heroes. Send. Okay, you can try it. Remember to press send. Okay, the single answer question, you don't need to press send because you, you, you will answer just one option. You'll choose just one option. But in the multiple answer questions, because the system don't know how many options you want to choose. So when you finish, you have to press send. Okay, then I'll give you 20 minutes, 20 seconds, sorry. Maybe some teacher doesn't like to watch movie, so you don't know who are they. That's fine, just guess. Okay, any questions? Okay, so just like the single answer question, now I can set correct answer, right? I can set correct answer. Okay, so I'll tell you the correct answer of question is number in Marvel Heroes, number one, three, four, and five. Okay, one, three, four, and five. One, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's see the pie chart. Okay, let's see the pie chart. How many students got the correct answer? Oh, 45% is correct and 55% is wrong. Okay, so now I can do one thing that called differentiated push. Okay, differentiated push. As I say, in the bar chart or pie chart, you can push the chart and there are three different functions will show up, right? The first one is smart, repeat, smart pick out. I can pick out someone from the correct or from wrong. And now I want to show you the uh, right side. The, the, the third function is differentiated put. What's that mean? I want to give law students who got the correct answer. I want to give you a page that is a page of all the heroes in Marvel Studio and DC Studio. Okay, I'll give you one page. And for those who got the wrong answer, who got the wrong answer, I got a page that introduced all of the options, who are they to you? Okay, so you can see if you got the right answer, 
if you got the right answer, you will receive this page. Okay, all of the heroes from Marvel Studio and DC. And if you got the wrong answer, you'll receive this page. You'll receive this page. Okay, Inter introduction of every option. Who are they? And so how to how to uh to see that page? You will see that page here. Okay. If you're using computer, if you're using computer just like me, you can find on the right side with IRS, you can find a history. Okay, history area. You can find the differentiated push page here. Okay, you can find it. But if you are using cell phone or tablet, your page may be like this. Okay, so where can you find your history? Here, here. This gray one, this gray icon here. You press this icon and you can see the history area. And also you can see uh, your page here. You can push and then go back. Okay, go back like this. Okay, so just make sure, okay, please make sure that you have already uh, received my page. If you got the wrong answer, you'll receive this page like me. And if you got the right answer, you'll receive a, a page that show you every heroes in Marvel and in DC. Okay, just make sure that you have already received. So with this function, that means teachers can give different kinds of students different materials. For those one who got the wrong answer, got the right answer, or for those one in group one, group two, or group three, I can give them different tasks or I can give them different materials in the same time. Okay. The last question. Okay. When we finish this question, we, we take a break. Okay. This function called bus in. Okay, this function called bus in, which means, uh, okay, I just I just show you, okay. Here, here's a picture. I want to ask you to find the four leaf clever. Okay, I want to ask you to find the four leaf clever. So what I want to do is to start the bus in question here. A bus in question, this, a ring. Okay, the icon is a ring here. Okay, so when I start a buzzing question, you can see here on teacher screen, there's a ring, black one. And on students with IRS, there will be a, a, a green ring. So, okay, so what I want you to do is when I push the bell on my screen, when I push the bell on my screen. The most fast one who push your bell on your web IRS, that one you can answer my question. Okay, you can try it. When I push this bell on my screen, the fast one who push your bell on your web IRS, you can answer my question. Okay, we try it. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, number 44, teacher. Hello. You there? Do you? Yes, sir. Good hey. afternoon. Hello. So, can you please just tell me? Uh, zone number one, two, three, four. Where is the four list clever? Which zone? Uh, I think it's a number. Number? Number four. Number four? Yes, sir. Okay. Number four? Okay. Thank you, but let's just have the correct answer. That's fine. That's okay. We we'll just try this, 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 this function. That's okay. So I'll give another teach, teacher this chance. Okay. In your real classroom, maybe student got a wrong answer. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. But I'll give another chance to another one. Okay. So when I push this button, okay, this, this 
Okay, I'll redoing this bus in and you can press your bell as fast as you can. Okay, try it. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh number twenty-two means Gato. Sorry, I, I don't I, I'm not sure. Hi, you there? Yes, sir. It's Eileen. Okay, thank you. And can you tell me where is uh, which which uh, which which song? It's a number one. Number one. Okay, the, uh, the thank top. you so much. Yes, yes. that is yes. a correct yes. answer. The four collaborator lift collaborator is here. Okay, here. Okay, thank you so much. So when student got the correct answer, you can give your student a thump. Okay, the thump means score. Oh, thump means score or point. I can give. Here. And I can also give this student one score. She as she answered my question. Okay, so you can give students score by song. Okay, and also when we go back to the pie chart, you can also see some here. So I say there are three different functions. Oh, you know, the first one is smart smart pick out. The second one sum is score. And the third one, the right side is differentiate push. Okay, there are three different functions you can use when you do an IIS quiz. Okay, so we just try three different functions. We just try the uh, single answer, multiple answers, and closed question and buzzing. Okay, we just try this functions. So now I'm going to take a break for 10 minutes and you can also use your high teach to try all of these functions by yourself. Okay, you can try it. And if you have any questions, we can talk about it later. And then when we finish this part, I'll tell you how to use the task and assessments. Okay, so let's take a break for 10 minutes first. Okay. Thank you so much. You can take a break.
Hello, teachers. We can come back. Okay, just make sure if you are there, because I don't know, maybe you're still having coffee. So if you already come back, please uh, choose any option. Okay. Just any option. Just let me know you are there. <laughs> okay, I see. Thank you. Yeah, if you are there, just choose any options. Okay. Obviously, not everyone has already come back. <laughs> okay. That's fine, okay. I'm not going to talk something new. Okay. Now I want to give you five more minutes. Five more minutes to try those IRS question functions. You can try to start a single answer question, you can try to start a closed question, or you can try to start a buzzing, something like that, okay? You can try to use loss IRS quiz, IRS question. And then after this five minutes, if you don't have any question, I'll go, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how to use the text, okay, the text function. Okay, so I'll give you five more minutes. And if you have any question, you can just ask me, okay? Five, more, five minutes for you to try those IRS question function. You can use your, uh, you can use your computer to become a teacher, use high teach, and you can use your cell phone as student. So you can use your, uh, use, use your cell phone to connect with your computer. Okay, and then try to uh, start a start a IRS question and student answer that question, something like that.
Okay, any questions? Did anyone has any questions about the uh, IRS interact action? No? Okay, so now we are going to the next part. I'll teach you how to use the text the assignment function. Okay, I'll teach you how to use the assignment or we call it task. So before that, I want to make sure that if you have already disconnect or you lose your page, you can go back again. Okay, I want to make sure that everyone can connect with me, join my class, okay? If you have already disconnected, or you lose your page, you can go back again. Because I'll give you some task to, to finish later. Okay, so I'll give you 10 seconds if you need to connect with my high teach. Go back to your IRS. Okay, before we go to the test, sorry, I have to say one thing I forget. You teachers usually ask me that, can we change the number of options? Can we change the number of options? Because in, in, uh, in this question, you can see we have, oh, sorry, here. Okay, as you can see, whenever I start a IRS quiz, you will see six options, six uh, options. Can I change the number of options? Yes, you can change it here, 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 okay. This icon here, push it, and you can change two things. First is the number of pop quiz options. Now it's six, you can change to four, five, seven, eight, seven, okay, just like you want. And the bottle size, okay, you can change the bottle size here. So you can change two things, okay? Okay, so now we are going to talk about the text function here. We can do three different kinds of text. The first one is picture, picture text. Okay, I can ask students to draw a picture, to take a picture or to write down something on a paper and submit it. Okay, the first one is picture text. The second one is audio task. I'll ask you to record some sentence and submit it. Okay, the second one is audio task. And the third one is file, doc file, file task. I can ask you to, to submit a Word file, a PowerPoint file, or a video, or something else. Okay, the file task. So now we are going to try an audio task. Here is the sentence. Okay, you can see here, it's, it's a sentence. Okay, so I want to start an audio task here. Okay, the task icon. Okay, here, the test icon. Okay, and I can use the microphone icon to start an audio task, an audio task here. Okay, so when I start a, an audio task, student will see this page and with the microphone. So I can push this microphone and start recording. 
Hello, my name is Zach. I'm from Taipei, Taiwan. My favorite food is uh, hot pot. And I like to watch movie on weekend. Nice to meet you. Okay, finish. And then I can use this icon, this icon, this green one to submit my work. And then teacher will receive my answer here. Okay, so now it's your turn. Please try to record your answer. Say this sentence and submit it to me. Okay, you can try it, please. Okay, I'll give you 10 more seconds if you want to upload your work. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, if, if teacher wants to stop to uh, receive answers, you can push this icon here. Please. Stop. Okay, when I push it, stop collecting works. Yes. Now you cannot upload your answer. Okay, you, you cannot upload. And teacher can play the audio like, like this phone and start to recording. Hello, my name okay, is Okay, I can Dad. play the record. I'm from Taipei. I can play the audio. For example, uh, Sir Leo. Hello, my name is Leo. I'm from the city of Calaca, Philippines. My favorite food is balut, and I like to travel on weekend. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, so teacher can play the audios, and also you can see the song. Okay, I say song means score. I can give this students. Okay, and also I can change the size of the blank. I can change the size of blank. Okay, something like this. Or I can I can I can order the answers by time. Well, Johnny is the, the most one or by seat. Okay, number one didn't uh, submit. Number two, number three, number four, number five didn't submit. Okay, something like that. So this is an audio task. Another another function. The picture, okay, the picture task, the picture task. Okay, the picture task. So now here you can see a duck. You can see a duck. I want to ask you to draw this duck, to draw this duck. Okay, so you can use the task and the picture, the first icon, the first icon. 
to start a picture text. To start a picture text. Okay. So what you can do is to get into this page, get into to this picture, and use the pen, use the pen on your right hand side. Okay. Use a pen, choose the color, and just finish your work. Draw this dog. Okay. And then submit. Okay, submit. Here, you can try it. Okay, so please try it. Submit your doc for me. Yeah, very creative. Cre cre very creative. Yeah, many cute ducks here. So you can ask student to draw or to write down something and submit it, okay? Okay, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. I can give everyone who sent your picture here. I can give everyone a song. Or, you, or I can choose someone to give me or give her. Some, okay, and also I can preview preview every every works here. I can preview every works, okay, and also I can choose some works that I like. For example, I think this one and this one and this one and this one are the best. For example, okay, so teacher can choose some works and use this icon here here okay to paste it to paste it to main page like this like this okay i choose four works and paste it to the main page and i can ask uh sir zach or oh, sorry johnny or oh, mr johnny to tell tell us why he drew this dog like this way okay, something like that so this is the picture Task, the picture task. Okay. But as you see, I put a sunglass hat. Okay. Something like there. I want to show you another scenario when we using the picture task. Okay. When I start a picture task here, like this. Okay. I use this function and start a picture test. Okay, this is what we just do, right? This is this is what we just do. You can get into this picture and draw it. But I want to let you to move these things. Move these things. Okay. So I can use here the object based push. Okay, the push icon is here. And I can choose the object push here. Okay, when I use this object push function, you'll see that your task is objects now. So when you get into that page, you can still use your pencil to uh, draw. Okay, you can still draw that duck. That is okay. But also you can use the mouse. Okay, you can use the select, the select icon to move things. Like okay, I can move the sunglass. I can give my dog a hat. Okay. 
I, I can give him a head. Ooh. Okay, blacklist. And then submit it. Okay, blacklist. So you can try, you can try. Okay. In a normal, a normal picture task, student can only draw or write. But if you start the push with object best, student can move lots of things on your on, on, on your page. So they are both uh, picture test function, but you can do it in different ways. But if you want to use this function, you have to remember one thing that you need to import your PowerPoint into HiTeach. Okay, you need to import your PowerPoint into HiTeach. Because if you're just screenshot, when you screenshot, there are nothing can be moved. When you screenshot, nothing can be moved. Okay, so if you want to use this function, you must import your PowerPoint into HiTeach. Then you can use this function. Okay, you have to remember that. Oh, sorry, by the way, you can also try to not only move the object, you can also try to push this blank. Okay, this is a hyperlink. Okay, the left corner, this is a hyperlink. When I push this hyperlink, you can see other people from other countries how to draw this dark. Very funny. Okay, so you can try. That is a hyperlink. Student can not only move some move the objects, they can also push the hyperlink. Okay, so now just the same. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. Five minutes. You can try to start a task. Uh, audio an audio task or a picture test by yourself. Okay, you can try this function. And if you have any question about task, just tell me. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to practice.
Okay, any any questions about the task? Any questions? And also, I want to mention that when you using picture, okay, when you start a picture task, when you start a picture task, you can ask your student not only. Uh, oh. Okay, when you, sorry, for example, I add a new page and, okay, for example, I start a picture task. Okay, and then you can not only ask your student to open this page and draw or move something or write down something, you can also ask your student to use this three icon. There are three different functions to submit their answers. The first one, the left one is a camera. That means you can ask your student to take a picture or choose a picture in their album and then upload it. Okay, you can ask them to take a picture. The middle one here, okay, you can ask your student to open an empty whiteboard and write down something or draw something here and submit it. Or you can use this icon here to use the history image. Okay, the image you have already used in this lesson early. Okay, you can ask your student to choose the the, the pages. Okay, for example, the, the, the uh, Marvel heroes. I select this page and answer in this page. Okay, so one function called picture task, but you can ask your student to answer this question by open your picture or take a picture or use the empty whiteboard or use the history image. image. Okay, you have many different ways to do this, this, this task, okay? So now we are going to talk about the last thing. Okay, the last function to uh, this afternoon. The last function this afternoon. I'll tell you how to do an assessment in your classroom. Okay, there are many different ways you can do an assessment in high teach, but today we just try the most easy way. Okay, I just tell you one function to do assessment, the most easy one. Okay, we'll try this. Instant paper test. Okay, instant paper test here. If I want to do an assessment now in my class, okay, you are my student, I want to do an assessment now. The first thing I will give you the test paper, right? But now you are online, you are not in front of me. So I have a, I have a test paper here. Okay, I have a test paper here. This is my test paper. And, and I have already screenshot this test paper as a picture. Okay, as a picture here, I'll show you. Okay, this is my test paper. If you are in front of me, if, if you are in my classroom, I just give you the test paper. Okay, but now you are not in front of me, you're online. so. I have already screenshot my test paper as in picture. And what I'm going to do now is to start an assessment in high teach here. Okay. Here. Okay. The, the assessment function here. And I want to use the instant paper test. Okay. This icon instant paper test. Okay, here, the second one, the second one, this icon, okay. I press this icon and high teach will start an instant paper test, but I need to tell my system, my system first, the test name. Okay, the test, test name. Okay, for example, my test name is reading. Exam. 
Okay. The second thing, I have to tell my system how many, uh, how many questions in this test paper. So I have only two questions, two single answer questions. Okay, I have only two single answer questions, no multiple answer questions, no curl. Okay, I have only two single answer questions. And how many options in one question? Four. Okay, four options in one question. And I want to attach a picture. Okay, attach picture. I just screenshot my. I, I just screenshot my test paper as a picture right here. Okay, so I attach it. The last one. Set the correct answer. Okay, set the correct answer. Just for example, the correct answer is one, two. Okay, just two, two questions. So the, the first question answer is one. The second and question answer is two. Okay, two questions. Then start. Okay, then start. So as a student, you can see here in your web IRS, you'll see the picture I just attached, right? You can see the tick, the, the test paper picture. And then you can ask, uh, sorry, you can answer. You can answer two questions and submit it. Okay, so please try to finish my test paper, okay? You don't need to care about the real correct answer, okay? Just for example, please finish this test paper and then submit it. This is, this is how we can use the assessment function in HITECH. We have many different ways to do assessment in HITECH, but this is the most easy way. And as you can see, teacher can, can see how many students has already finished that, te that test paper. Okay, when you become the green one, that means you have already submit. Okay, I'll give you 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds to try to finish this test paper. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So I can click stop test. Stop test here. Okay. Stop test. And he asked me, are you sure to stop self test? test? Confirm. Okay. And then you can see the system will uh, correct the test automatically because the system knows the, the correct answer. So uh, the system will uh, correctly exam automatically and two questions. The correct answer rate is 50, or both, both 50, okay? So I can go to different pages. For example, this is question number one. This is question number one. I can show chart to know for those students who got the wrong answer, which option do he or her choose, okay? They got the wrong answer, they choose number, someone choose number two, someone choose number four, and I can review the test, I can tell them why the correct answer is number one. Okay, so that is how to use high teach to, to do an assessment, the most easy way, okay? So now, likewise, five minutes, you can try to start the high teach assessment. Okay, this is the last mission this afternoon. Okay, you can try to use the high teach assessment function.
okay. Any questions? Not only about assessment. Well, this is the final, the last task, last mission you have to do today. Okay. So do you have any question about the entire high teach uh, functions? Okay, let's do this. If you don't have any questions, you have no questions, please answer one. Okay, please answer option one. You are okay, you think everything's good, you have no no other no other questions. Please answer option one. I know it, it uh, it's impos impossible for a teacher to know how to use high teach just after participate this workshop. Okay, you have to spend some time for yourself to 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 try to use this tool. That is very, very important. Okay, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, show chart. Okay, thank you so much. There are two teachers choose option two. <laughs> I don't know why, but if you really have any questions, just let me know, okay? Just let me know, okay? So now I'm going to tell you when we have already, uh, sorry, we have finally finished the lesson, how to end lesson. Okay, I'll tell you how to end lesson. Here, at the beginning, we push start lesson. So in the end, we push end lesson. That's easy, that's simple, right? We push end lesson. Are you sure to end this lesson? Of course, yes. And then the system will uh, save and generate some statistics automatically we'll see that. Okay, when you end lesson, you can see this lesson summary. Okay, this lesson summary, how many students attendance and how many points and uh, how many tasks you do, how many interaction scores, okay, something like that. But when you want to finish, uh, end your lesson, don't forget to push this button here. Okay, this white one, this white one, okay. Push this button to export the summary report, okay, to re export the summary report. So, I want to export both summary report and student test words. Confirm. I want to save it at my desktop. Okay. Save it. Okay. So we go to our my desktop. You can see here on my desktop. Okay. These two files is what I export. The first one, the Excel file. Okay, when I open the Excel file, you can see in this Excel file, every student's score or the test score or the interact, every question you answer will be recorded here. Okay. Every student, your attendance, okay, here, okay. Your attendance, your task, your test score, and your answer of every question will be recorded here. Okay, this is the uh, Excel report. Another thing is this, this file. Okay. This file collect students' works. 
the task one is okay our task one is the audio task right the, the test one is i ask you to tell me hi my name is my, my name is uh, who, who am i where do i come from okay so the audio test will be saved as an mp3 file and the task two what is task two okay task two is to draw a duck here every student's work will be saved here okay the task three is okay and another way to move the height move the sunglasses to draw this dog so every student's statistics and his or her works will be safe in your computer when you end your class and i forgot to say one thing where can i where can i find the the score of every student where can i find the score of, of every student you can get into oh, sorry you can get into here okay here the, the attendance okay here is where we can find the attendance right we can we can see the attendance and beside the attendance here is a page called point or point here here is everyone score of everyone you can see everyone's score here you can also add score here of course i, I has already i has already end lesson so i cannot change the score now okay when during your class you can add score here like this okay sorry i forgot to say this okay so this is how to use high teach from start a lesson and end your lesson Okay, this. And if you want to save your teaching materials, if you want to save your teaching materials, you can use, you can export your teaching material as a PDF file or image file, or you can save, save your teaching material as a HTEX file, okay? You can continue using it next time. Okay, in here, hi. Okay, hi. You can choose to export your teaching material, your pages as PDF file or image. Or you can save your file as HTEX file and you can use that file next time in HiTeach. Or also, you can just exit HiTeach to finish this system to close this system okay okay so this is uh everything i want to tell you about high teach this afternoon and the last part i'm going to tell you about our uh platform okay give me 10 more minutes just 10 more minutes to tell you about our platform because when you participate in this workshop, Sir Johnny just tell you that you can have three month high teach license with 50 students connection. Okay. When you participate in this workshop and you join my class, you react, uh, you interact with me, you can get three months high teach license. Okay. But you can finish another two homeworks to extend your high teach license. You can extend your high teach license for three more months by achieving three T green lights. And you can extend the license for another six months by recording a double green light video. Okay, so three months, three months, six months, you can use high teach totally one year. But I have to tell you how to get the T green light and double green light video. What is that? So I have to tell you that. Okay. So the T green light and double a double green light means T green light and P green light. Okay. T green light and P green light. That is what we call double green light. The T green light is technology green light, technology interaction index. We call it T green light. Okay. The technology in the in action index. Okay. 
It's based on interactive features from Hitis. How many different functions, how many different tools you use in Hitis? Okay, it will depends on this. Okay, and the pedagogical application index, the P light here. Okay, the P light has six basic analysis in indexes. Okay, including group learning, whole class interaction, student central decision, whole class assessment. Okay, and individual learning. Okay, for example, what is student concern decision? When I do an IRS single question. Okay, and I show chart. I push different page to different student. Okay, you, you got the correct answer, I give you this page. You got the wrong answer, I give you that page. That is what we call student-centered decision. So if you do that, your, your P green line will be higher. Okay, just something like that. So the T green line and P green line, the the purpose of this two green light is to tell teacher how uh, is to is to let let uh, to let teacher know that do I use high teach very very uh how to this one so see high teach right. Okay, the T green line and T uh, and P green line these two functions is uh, to let teachers to know your your teaching skill in using high teach functions. Okay. So how to get the T green line? How to get the T green line? Okay, you have to go back to your high TA, your high TA, okay, your high TA application in your cell phone okay in your high ta you can see let me show you okay in high ta you can in the high ta page okay there are five pages in high ta and the page explore here okay the page explore in your high ta application you can find a blue blank Okay. Okay, a blue blue bank blank. There are two AI functions you can apply here. You have two AI function functions you can apply here. The first AI function is the AI text analyze, which we used in the closed question. Do you rem remember that? I can see the word cloud, something like that. Okay. The first AI function you can apply is the AI text analysis system. And another AI function is AI Socrates summary notice. Okay, if you have this function, the AI Socrates summary notice, whenever you finish, you end and uh, you end and high teach class, you will receive this. You will receive a summary notice in your high TA. Okay, you will receive a summary notice in your high TA. And here, as you can see, in this summary notice, the system will tell you your technology interaction is, oh, this is red light. Okay, the score only 27. Okay, this is a red light class. So you can try to improve your uh, technology skill to get a green light, to get a green light, okay? And also you can see on the homepage of High Teach. sorry. Okay, on the homepage of High TA, on the homepage of High TA, here, okay? On the homepage of High TA, you can see how many green lights you have already get. So if you have, three green light if you have three green lights you can screenshot this picture and then tell us hey i have already got three green lights 
and will extend your high teach license for three months. Okay, this is the homework one. Okay, you can get three green light in your high teach lesson. And the homework two, if you want to get the double green light video, okay? The point is video. If you want to get a double green light, you have to record your lesson. You have to record your lesson. How to do that? Okay, let me show you. If you want to record your lesson, please do not press start lesson at the beginning. Okay, I tell you every teacher, whenever you want to use high teach, you need to press start lesson. Yeah, let's, that is a normal situation. But if you want to uh, record your lesson, please use this, this icon, this S. Okay, please use this S icon here. Okay, the S icon here. When I press the S icon, you'll see this black window like this. Okay, I press this S icon and I'll see this black window. Okay, I can set the lesson name and the category, the subject, the grade, something like that. And I can also set in my video which microphone I want to use, which camera I want to use because I want to record my lesson, right? And then start. When I press start, I can choose my lesson and start lesson, okay? So if I start lesson through this way, when I start lesson, the lesson will be rec uh, a rec a rec rec recording, recording now, okay? This lesson has been recording now. And when I end lesson, okay, when I end lesson, the recording, the video will upload to our Socrates platform. platform. Okay, the video will up to, upload to our Socrates platform. So you can go to the Socrates platform and see your lesson. Okay, and see your lesson. Sorry. Chinese. Okay, I find an English English lesson example. Okay, 就这个吗? Okay, okay. Oh, for example, when you get into the the Socrates platform, you can see your own your own uh lesson video and you can read your report. Sorry. You can read your report. Okay, you can read your report. Okay. These two are T and P green light. Okay, this one, technology. This is T and this is pedagogical green light. So this is a double green light lesson. Okay, so you if you have if you if you finish a double green light lesson and you upload it to the Socrates uh, platform and you see your report, you see, hey, I got double green light. Just screenshot this picture. Let us know and we'll give you another six months extent of your high teach license. Okay, so that is what you have need to do to try uh, to, to practice high teach, to use high teach in your classroom and try to get a green T green light, a three green, three T green light in your high TA and got one double green light video upload to Socrates platform. That's your homework. Okay, so this is all the things that I want to tell you this afternoon. So, do you have any questions? Okay, if you don't really understand how to get a T green light or to, to have a double green light video, you can ask uh, Sir Johnny or other teachers. Okay, they'll, they'll tell you more. 
I want and I, and I want to mention one thing next. I want to mention one thing. If you want my material today, okay, if you want my material I use today, okay, you can find all, all the materials here in this file, this file icon, in high teach in this file icon here. Okay, you push this icon and you can see here is a preset resources. Preset resources. Okay, preset resources here. You can find sample file, sample file here. Okay. In sample file, you can find many, many, many different PowerPoints in English. Okay, in English, because I'm in Taiwan, so they are all Chinese. You can find many uh, English PowerPoints that I made. You can just take it to use. Okay, you can you can use those uh, PowerPoint to learn how to use high teach. Okay, you can find all of these materials, these resources here. Preset resources, sample file here. Okay. Okay, so if you have, uh, you, if you don't have any other questions, thanks for your participant and I'll give the time to Sir Johnny. Okay, thank you so much.